Uh, it was very interesting to hear you talk about how you did your research for that scene, but I would really love to hear you talk about how you did the research for describing Rose's experience inside Robin's room. Well, I, I started by reading Survivor Accounts. I had this like pile of about six or seven Survivor Accounts that I got out from the library and I ordered from the stores. And I had them sitting there for six months before I could bring myself to actually read them because I just sort of, uh, you know, the idea of delving this deeply into the horror that was the concentration camp at Ravensbrück was not appealing. And when I finally forced myself, I had written the whole first part of the story, which is all like, you know, her flying adventures in the UK before she goes there. And I knew I had to do this research now. And when I finally forced myself to crack one of these books, I was astonished because they weren't just chronicles of horror. They were really chronicles of hope. And it's really, really true that people who actually did survive, you know, they survived because they were lucky, but they also survived because they had immense support from their friends and from people who, and some, in some cases, family, and, and people who, who they built really strong relationships with. And it, the ones who survived are the ones who really kept hold of hope throughout this experience. And so in fact, reading these was a very uplifting experience. And, and, and that came as a surprise to me, and I think that also shaped my own narrative. And you make a comment in your afterward about it, attending a summer institute at Robinson? Yes, I, one of the things that I really wanted to do was to see this camp for myself. And I felt like I would get more out of the experience if I stayed for some time rather than if I just went and, you know, and, and toured around for an hour and felt sad. And that was actually one of the things I really didn't want to do was just like walk around feeling miserable. Um, so by attending the summer school there, and they hold it every year, um, it, and it lasts a week, and it's always on a different topic, usually related to the Holocaust in some way, but not necessarily related to that particular camp. And I felt that if I went for a week, I would get a chance to, you know, kind of connect more with the place. But also, if I was at the summer school, I would have a focus. I would, I would be working on something else, you know, and not just immersed in my own book and in the memories of the survivors that I had, had read about. So, so that was what motivated me to go. And it was, it was really a fantastic experience. It was actually like reading the accounts. It was, I was surprised at what a wonderful time I had. Um, you stay in, there's, there's a youth hostel, which is in the former SS barracks. The camp was a Soviet army base for 50 years, so much, much longer than it was a concentration camp. And of course, it has a history associated with that as well. And it is in an absolutely beautiful location. The youth hostel is, although it's associated with the, with the, with the memorial site that's now there, it's, it's on a bike route that goes from Copenhagen to Berlin. So it's used by people who are on their summer vacation, you know, families and um, students. And it has, it, it does not have this feeling of, you know, sort of doom associated with its very active and, and thriving and living um, community, um, which is partly associated with the memorial and partly associated with the youth hostel. And the institute that I went to, which was on the topic of generation and memory and um, how media images and stories affect our understanding of history was very relevant to what I was writing as well. So I got a lot out of it, too. Yeah. Um, I was interested in how you were writing about a camp, you know, such a perverse and evil rendition of camp and you decided to bring into the story the Girl Scouts. I found that kind of contrast. Rose keeps recalling her experiences at Girl Scout camp, and, it, and uh, Elizabeth ties that in. Can you talk more about what made you do that? Okay, and what I'll tell you with? exactly what made me do that. What made me do this was during the course of my research, I discovered that the Polish Scouts, okay, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, 
were heavily involved in the resistance movement in Poland and um, did tons and tons of resistance activities and you know were kind of like acting as couriers and um, as messengers and doing